Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with another Divi tutorial. And again, we have one for the Divi blog series. So we've already changed our column number and we've made a list view and things like that. Now I want to focus on a couple of other elements of the blog module and this one is the read more button. So by default it's just this little read more and it's styled as a text like a text styling or something. We want to change it to look like a button. So we're going to make it look like a button. We're even going to add an icon and then I'm also going to show you how to change the actual text. So instead of read more you might want to say you know continue reading or go to full post or whatever you want to say. So we're going to talk about all of that in this tutorial. Let's get started. All right, so let's start by taking a look at what is possible in the Divi blog module in the Divi builder design settings. And then we'll kind of like, it'll be obvious why we need this tutorial because it's just very limited. So I'm going to jump over here to my demo. And right now I just have a Divi blog module on the page. I have it set to um, the grid layout here in the design tab. So I have it on layout. And then under content, you'll just have to make sure um, under the elements toggle that you have certain things on here. I mean, you know, the toggles to, you know, the read more button obviously has to be on, but I also have the featured image, the date categories, and then the excerpt is on as well. Thought that's good to have it on for this tutorial to see how it kind of relates to it and all that. And you could go ahead and style some of this other stuff like here, you know, I could, I could work on the, um, the meta text and all, you know, all that stuff. But we're going to focus on the button and we're going to do three things. So right now it doesn't look like much of, like a button. It kind of just looks like a link. It's blue. So you think of it as a link. So what I'll do is I'll hover here and it'll take us to the setting. So right now, and it's really odd. It's even called text. It's, I mean, which is good. It's not called button. Like you would think it would be read more button, but no, it's read more text. It's like, well, they named it correctly. If they're not going to have settings for a button, then that's good. But anyway, so you can change the font and, you know, the font style, the color, the, the size of the text and, you know, the basic stuff here and that's it. All right. So once we've done that, you know, we've adjusted whatever we need to do. Let's go ahead and get started here with adding the CSS to kind of go beyond what was possible there in the Divi design settings. So we are going to be putting our CSS into our website. So we need to have a child theme and we'll put it in the style.css file. And if you don't have one, just put it in Divi theme options. And then if you don't know where to put code, if that's confusing, click on here and that'll take you to our guide on where to put code in Divi. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to copy this snippet here. It's actually um, the changing that link there into a button. And then we're also making some styles on hover, which I'll show you. So we're just going to paste it in right away. We get this nice blue button and when we hover, um, it has a nice outline and the text changes to blue and all of that. I want to point out a couple things the way you can customize this. So maybe the first thing I have it set as display inline block right here. And if we would actually change that to just block, so we take out the word inline, it goes the whole way across and you could do that. Um, in fact, you could go into the settings and center it, or you could say text align center and you could have your button full width like that. And that looks pretty nice. Um, depending on what you're doing, that might be what you want to do. I'm going to put it back just because. All right, so right now there's, because of us adding the padding around that link, the padding doesn't, you know, doesn't know to move the button down. So let's go in here and let's play around here. Let's add some spacing because we're using this excerpt here. So um, let's just go ahead and make a margin top and say like 20 pixels or something. And there you go. We moved the button down. Maybe I'll add that to the snippet just to kind of help you out. Maybe I'll make it 10. Um, it just creates that little bit of space to kind of offset the padding because padding is inside the element. So it, it doesn't affect like the actual moving of the element. That's what margin would be for. So by putting that margin in there, there we get that. All right. And I like this a lot. I think this is a major improvement. Um, I mean, just, you know, if you need reminded ever, just take it out <laughs> and then put it back. Uh, dramatic improvement, but let's make this even better. All right. 
Oh, I wanted to point one more thing out. This line here, text transform, I have it on capitalize. Let me just take that out and I'll show you. So right now the read more isn't even capitalized. Um, by putting text transform, we could say capitalize. We could even say something like uppercase. See, it makes it all caps. So I like it on capitalize. Capitalizes each word. So there we go. Let's get back to the tutorial here. Now we're going to add this icon. And this icon is great because it adds, well, the way I have it, I just have the arrow. Um, but you could add any icon you want. I'm going to paste this in. And oops, it stripped out my bracket there. Anyway, there you go. I have the little arrow, and I think it's looking great. You know, I just think this really improves everything. Now, I could make this so that the arrow appears on hover. So the way that I would want to do that is I would say ETPB post and then more link. That's the button. And then I would want to put hover so that when I hover, the button appears. See that? All right. So there you go. You can kind of customize this. And I'll also show you here how to change the icon. So this 2-4 here, I just happened to know that that was the built-in icon for an arrow that's pointing to the right. Um, let's actually go over to the link that's in the blog post. But if I type in just ET modules, <laughs> it's a weird word, but if you type that in, first thing here will be the blog post from Elegant Themes. It has um, all the icons here, and it's, it's basically trying to tell you how to use them. Uh, but all we need is, is right here. So look, right here is this arrow, but you'll notice, I see the two four there? So you basically just take out all the other crazy numbers or symbols and you're left with that two four. So let's, let's do one more. Um, right here, three five, let's, let's change it to three five. There we go, so we have that kind of arrow. And you know, you could, you could literally do any icon. Here's four five, that's more of a, um, the solid one there. Let's try that. Oops, I messed it up. You have to have the slash and then the last numbers there. Actually, that looks pretty good, don't it? Yeah, I like that. So there you go. That's some way you can customize it. And then one more thing. Let's change this read more to something else. And I was, I noticed somebody had a comment somewhere like it can be a little confusing. So like, let's go back under elements. If I would turn off show excerpt and if all I had here was like the title well, read more doesn't make any sense because I haven't read anything yet. Um, when you have the excerpt there, it's like an intro, you know, and then reading read more makes more sense. So I'm just showing you as an example of, of a, a reason you would want to change it. And you could change this to anything you want. So I'm going to save my page because we need to, um, where we're going to put this next snippet of code, we need to put in our theme options. Could put it in a code module, but we are going to our dashboard here. We'll go to Divi, theme options, and then the integration tab here. We're actually gonna put it in this section here, add code to the head of your blog. So over on the tutorial, we have the snippet. Let's go ahead and grab that. And this is jQuery, and I'll show you what it's doing. So basically it's saying, um, it's targeting this more link, the A more link. And then it's saying replace read more with view full post. So whatever text you want, we put in here. So save that. And then we need to refresh this page so it'll show up. All right. So I just got out of the builder and there you go. View full post. And that's just a great way to customize this. It doesn't look anything like it did before, does it? And again, so if I wanted to change view full post, you know, I mean, you could say anything, um, go to article and there you go. It changes just like that. So, you know, feel free to customize the colors, the, even the border, maybe you want a square button, maybe, you know, you want the text color to be like that. And then when you hover, it's a full color or you want it full width, or you want the icon in the on hover, change the icon, change the text. Just go crazy, whatever you want to do. Um, I hope this was helpful and that I explained it well enough and explained, you know, the, how the CSS is working. I like to try to, you know, teach as well as just 
you know, I don't want to just be like, here, paste this and boom, you're done. But like kind of understand it, start learning it, start reading it. And soon you'll be doing this stuff on your own. All right. So there you go. That's how you style and customize the Divi blog, read more button. And if you're enjoying this and this series, be sure to be subscribed because this is the type of tutorials and things we do here on this channel. So be sure you're following along and we're actually taking suggestions. If you have something that is related to the blog module, let us know. We have actually, I think three or four more coming up, um, but let us know and we'll, we'll add some more to that, to our schedule. And um, we'll see you in the next video.